This is the full section of the Volumes of Revolution chapter, chapter 5 from the core year 1 book. And this is just like now doing some modelling questions. So there's no new content. All it is is applying what you've learned about Volumes of Revolution. Okay, so manager wants to cast a prototype for a new design uh, for a pen barrel. So that's the bit of the pen that holds the ink bit, whatever that's called. The shaded region shown in the diagram is used for a model for the cross section of the barrel. So I can see that this is some sort of sort of curve that's basically rotated around the y axis 360 degrees or two pi radians around the y axis. Um, to create that volume. It says the region is bounded or the outline by the x-axis, okay, down here, so that's one edge, and uh, the curve with the equation k minus 100x squared and will be rotated around the y-axis. Well, I've already said that. Each unit on a coordinate axis represents one centimeter. Suggest a suitable value for k. So k, if I have a look, this is going to be, well, the value of k is going to be where the, the top of the graph occurs up here, like this. So I'm basically suggesting a suitable value for this in centimeters for the height of the barrel. And I've gone out and I've measured a few thousand pens. I've worked out the average and I've found that in av on, on average they're 10 centimeters okay it took me a few years to do it but now i've done it so my suggestion for a suitable value of k is 10 centimeters okay part b use your value of k to estimate the volume of resin needed to make the prototype so let's write my equation with my suitable value of k so 10 minus 100 x squared now i know i want an equation that's x equals something but you'll remember that when i find the volume rotated around the x-axis what do i have here i have x squared so if i had x equals something like this i would square it anyway yeah i'd square that so all i basically need to do is to make x squared the subject not x because i'll end up squaring it again so let's make things easy for ourselves here. So I would have um, y minus 10 equals negative 100x squared. Um, and then what we'll do is we divide both sides by negative 100. So I would get negative 10 divided by negative 100, which is 1 tenth or 0 0.1. Then I will get uh y divided by negative 100 so it's going to be negative y over 100 equals x squared so there we go i can use that to help me find the volume so the volume and i'll probably work out the limits in a minute because we'll need those is pi x squared so that's one tenth minus y over 100 okay and that's all going to be uh, well, it's already squared, so I don't need to square it. That is x squared. That makes things a little bit easier, but I'm going to put it in brackets anyway. Because we want at the end here um, dy. Now, the limits are going to be y limits, remember. And the bottom part is 0. And we decided that the length of this barrel is 10. So that y value is going to be 10. So my limits are going to be from 0 to 10 like this okay if you've come up with a different value of y you know if you've measured thousands of pens and you've come up with a different measurement feel free to use that one but I'm using 10 right so what do we get so obviously our constant pi we can put at the front um, we're going to integrate 1 tenth uh, with respect to y this time not with respect to x, so that basically becomes one tenth y. And the y over 100, well, 
Remember, you add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So if you add 1 to the power, you get y squared. And then you're going to be dividing it by 2. Well, if you've already got divided by 100 and you divide that by 2, it's the same as dividing by 200. So we'll get that. And we'll put our limits in, 0 and 10. So the next bit is just substituting in. So that's going to be the 10. So 1 tenth times by 10 minus 10 squared over 200 minus, now we're, we're actually going to be put, have loads of zeros here times by 0 minus 0 squared over 200. So um, if we work that out, we will have basically the first number is just going to become 1 because you're going to have 10 over 10. So 1 minus, and this is going to be 100 over 200. So basically a half, 1 minus a half is you're just left with a half. So you're left with a half pi as the volume or pi over 2. And this is going to be centimeters cubed for our volume. And a nice easy part in part C, state one limitation where there's, there's loads. You could say that you're assuming that this is uh, uh, perfectly uniform, perfectly uniform in terms of this rotation around the y-axis. Uh, you're assuming that the, the shape of the pen or the shape of barrel matches equation exactly. Uh, shape of barrel matches equation exactly. Um, we're assuming as well that the volume of resin is, is uniform throughout the whole thing. So I don't know why I've made up a part D. So um, Density, I suppose we should use not volume. Density of resin is uniform. Yeah, they're the main one I, I can think of. You might be able to think of some others as, as I can think of. Right, you should now be able to do exercise 5D on pages 84 to 86 of the textbook.